I'm proud of you guys. You know what I'm saying? Seniors, we ain't going to the playoffs. But your legacy, we got to live forever on that game right there with the momentum that we got. As a Saluki, you know, I'm proud of watching them, not even as their coach, but the way that they came to work every day. I feel like that's the sign of our, our culture. Israel, Billy, Chase, all you boys, Reed, Sylvie, I go down the line. All right, we're going to have a hell of a banquet. We'll, we'll reminisce on this guy, boy. But right now, you enjoy it. You take care of each other tonight. You got it? Yeah. 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 It tributes to the guys I work with and the guys that we coach. There was never any give up. I tell you something. Okay. It would have been easy not to believe, all right? Sometimes it was tough standing up here in the locker room, didn't have the words. You know what I'm saying? But you guys believed, you gave me everything you had. You can be good. You can be proud of that. We really believed that regardless of playoffs or not, you know, it's a pride thing, it's a self-respect thing, and it's just a family thing. You got it? Sure. Yeah, hey, underclassmen, it's our job to take that momentum and roll it. Sign in, ready to roll? Yeah. Yeah. Camp was fun. I thought it was a lot fun, more fun this year than it has been in the past, especially with our new staff that we got last year. Uh, always interesting. There's new twists and turns to camp. Competition level was definitely high. The energy was high. Every day we were just coming out, let's get better, let's get better, let's get better. It was hot. Practices was long. It was definitely long-winded, but it was so fun, man. It was so fun. It's, we set an environment here where both sides are competing against each other and, and uh, doing it how you should as a team. You know, every day getting out there working hard, uh, understanding that the goal isn't to play our offense. The goal is to be one team when we get ready for the opponent. One thing that was different was this year we did this thing where we had the coaches and the seniors all go up and basically tell their life story. And that was one of the coolest things I've ever been a part of because you got to find out things about people that you never knew about. Like I said, I know we joke about how old I am, but I've been here for a long time. Um, <laughs> 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 six years I've been here, I've never had this feeling. Like, I know we're going to be special. And I'm glad that we're ranked eighth or whatever in the polls because we're, we're not an eighth ranked team. You know what I'm saying? We are better than our season last year, which was three and eight. We're better than that. And um, it's exciting because, you know, like Coach, uh, Coach DeBoer told me I wasn't good enough to play this level. These people are telling us we're at the bottom. Let's go out there and shock the nation. You know, this is, you know, why I coach. I told you the relationship with the players. Charlie doesn't know this, but these are your scholarship papers, man. We're putting you on scholarship. <laughs> We only get so many of these, but I really like the group of guys that we got. I think that they're bought in. I think that they uh, they love being here, and uh, that's what training camps for, for, for is for. You know, it's, uh, it's two weeks and nothing but all day, every day of being with each other, and and uh, we got to be competitive out here in practice. But we also have to know that we're on each other's team, and you know, come September 3rd, we're we're rooting for each other. Good, good, good. 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 
You tried to make sure that you didn't step back with that first step, but you still got to get someone with it, right? But Aaron, he shot straight Aaron, Aaron, don't pull out. Hey, Aaron, Aaron. Aaron, don't pull out. So pass that first step. Oh, I can't feel you. Bro, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're you're not putting back. Get it. If the running back gets bounced, I want to be a plus one defender. You can't just say pull and just block. You know, the purest part of camp is is uh, putting kids under pressure and seeing how they react to it and then doing that over and over and over and over again to where that becomes second nature. Like if you really take this serious and you really, you know, you really want to progress in like the little things you do, you're going to just take everything in and listen to the coaches because they obviously know what they're talking about. Oh. Hey. Camp is important because, you know, that's when you it's when you focus on the installment. I mean, you install during the spring and, and then you gradually get better. But camp is like when you really hammer down, it's like you have to have it by then. So if you don't have it by then, you, you're not prepared for the season. Get it again. It's tough. You gotta compete every day and your job's in the line every day. You don't know, you know, you have a bad day, the other person gets the upper hand. He has a bad day, you get the upper hand. So it's an everyday thing, you gotta stay locked in. And that's the, that's the toughest part about camp is staying mentally focused through the, throughout the whole thing. You can get lazy a little bit. If, you, if, you're, if you're coming in and, and, and I mean, not to say that either one of them wouldn't have worked as hard as they did, it's just more of like every day for both of them was a battle. Every day was, if you slip up, the next guy is there, you know? Josh Strawn's gonna be our starting quarterback for, for FAU. Uh, they're both exactly what we've, uh, you know, we want out of that quarterback position. You know, we'll rally it behind Josh and he's done a really good job. I think he's got some command. I think he's got some experience. Um, and that's the way we're gonna go. I mean, it wasn't what I wanted to hear, obviously, and it was pretty uh, disappointing. I uh, was not expecting it at all. But, I mean, it is what it is. I knew that if I believed, like, kept faith in what the plan was, then my opportunity would arise. Yeah, we're excited about uh, it being game week. Finally, uh, it's here, and we're excited to play somebody else besides ourselves. I feel like it's been a it's been a long time coming. I feel good with where we're at. Um, you know, these next few days are still important. Uh, we're just fine tuning some things, but we've got to get out there and we've got to play somebody else and we got to put it uh, put it out there. We're good, and then Parsich, we talked on the field tonight. Just slide your butt over there, just like we talked about, and just be patient. Those guys are going to do all that kind of stuff. You have the advantage. You're on offense now. You know. What Tone come out of camp. I feel yeah, like, I you know, everybody's mindset. You know, championship and get a ring, and I, that's how it should be. It is what it is. They're just non-conference games. We go into every game, you know, with the same mindset. Just we gotta win. Uh, looking at the rooming list, just kind of glance at. I don't know if you have. If there's, you know, did you change some of them up or this change? So just take a take a look at it and see, you know, what you what you think as far as uh, matchups and their personalities or if you, you know. I, I liked the demeanor of us going down to FAU. I thought that there was a confidence that we weren't just going down there to play in that game, that, hey, we're going down there to win that thing. And that's the way the coaches felt. That's the way I felt. Um, and that's the way really the game went. When you go through fall camp, there should be no doubt in your mind that you're winning that first game. Because you're not playing, you get a little comfortable, you know was saying, all right, I worked hard, so and so. And it was more of a it was a more of a thing where we just we we didn't really know yet. We had a young it was younger and we didn't really know what it took to win that first game.
Well, we're excited to get back here. Um, you know, we, we started this year practicing on Monday, so guys came in and, and watched some film this morning, and then we'll, we'll practice this evening, have a short one. Excited to get back after it, you know, after a, uh, a tough loss, but I like the, the attitudes of our guys. Uh, ready to respond and come out here and have a great week of practice. Got to have a great week of practice. We knew coming out of there that we were supposed to win that game, and we didn't like the way that felt. So when we came up to Seymour and Murray State, again, not in our conference, we was all like, you know, these two are going to get, you know, they're going to get what we they're supposed to get. We've got to go get this W no matter who it is, no matter if it's in our conference or not. You know, just being able to come in with the guys and celebrate, you know, the coaches knowing that, you know, right now everything is working that we want. You know, we're kind of having our way with people. Even FAU, if you look at the film, we lost that game. We lost that game. They didn't beat us. Shotgun balls on the left side, left hash, here he is to throw strong. Plenty of time, hold, deep open is on Weaver, got it, five, touchdown, Southern Illinois. Two, here's the snap, here's Hoskett to throw, and he has time, now he's sacked, 23-yard line. Feels good to get back in here and um, get back to another week of work. Um, you know, it always feels good to, to make corrections after a win, not after a loss. But um, you know, we got a lot of things that we have to clean up. The guys were in here this morning, uh, kind of put the the Simo game to bed finally, and have moved on to, to Murray State. Heading into conference, it was just, I think we were kind of too high. I think we kind of expected to um, teams to kind of roll over. I'm not going to say to just roll over and let us win, but we kind of expect the teams to be scared of us and respect us. And that's something that we have to remember each and every game, that regardless of who the opponent is, they don't respect us. Um, regardless of who the opponent is, you know, they don't, they're not scared of us. We're excited to be back, you know. Um excited for the week of preparation going into a game. Thought we had a really good bye week. Anytime coming off a loss, you know, the best best thing to do is just get right back at it. We'll get back to work just like we always have. I feel like we've we've prepared well. I'm ready to, to get going and try to try to figure this thing out and uh, and get a win. Um, had some tough close losses that every team in this league is is good just like we talk about every week. So not ready to play, especially a, a hungry team. It's well coached. They're playing at home. Uh, there would definitely be no uh, looking past. I mean, we, we're winless in the league as well and and uh, kind of similar in the same situation. No one likes losing, obviously. We put in so much work and so much effort and everyone's so passionate about the game. You gotta love the game, you know, especially when you're losing. We, we never really had anybody who would just kind of quit because we were losing. You know, you, like when you keep on losing, you just have to find a way to win. You have to find what you did wrong. With that same mindset, no, we're just going to win out. We're going to win these games. You know, anything can happen type deal. Just keep playing. Like, you know, don't give up.
You know, sometimes that they, they give you everything they got and you want, want them to win for them, you know, because of you see what they're going through. And everybody's competitors, everybody wants to win, and it's tough when you go on a three, four, five game losing streak. Well, the week before, Coach had talked about the Missouri State game, about how if things weren't going well that I could have a shot at playing. Well, we, we had dropped several games in a row, you know, and not, not, because, of, not because of Josh or, or his play. In fact, you know, at Missouri State, he played pretty good, and that was the last game that he started. It was a tough decision any time that you deal with that, especially being a quarterback. Monday morning we came in for film, and they told me I was starting, and so I was on cloud nine. I think it was really good how both of them handled the change midseason and, and things like that. I mean, when they named Josh a starter, Sam didn't miss a beat at practice, and then when they switched, Josh was exactly the same way. He was as supportive as Sam was throughout the entire process. And it, it's just really, I think it worked out pretty well because of the two guys that were in the battle. It was more the personalities of them too. Last play of the game, everybody running off, shaking hands. The next thing you know, we back on the field again for another play. I've never seen anything like it. You know, I've been playing football for, let's say, 16 years, about 15 years. It's a game that we'll always remember, I promise. You know, the coaches, you know, on the last play weren't even up in the press box to, to call out personnel. They were already down almost halfway to the locker room, so they didn't even know we were still playing. Just seeing how far they made it and how close we played them when we could have beat them. It, you know what I mean? It's just like, wow, we should be where they are. You know what I mean? Like I said, there's no moral victories, but the film shows that we're doing things right, but you got to do it for four quarters. Played a hard fought game and, you know, we gave it all we had and everything, but we just, we just got to start, you know, fixing the little things because they come back and, you know, they haunt you. All right, uh, you know, we're ready to go for our, for our last week here. It's, uh, you know, our focus is totally on, on Western Illinois and finding a way to get a win here in our last week uh, together as 2016 team. So, um, 
I'm excited for our guys. You know, it's always tough, you know, especially my first year coaching is just a senior class that has given a lot to this program. You want to send them out on the right way. We knew we had to get a win. We had to get a win bad. Um, we knew it was going to come down to the last possession, just like every other game. So we came out there, we fought hard. We fought really, really hard that game. Very rarely do you get to win your last game. I mean, if you're, unless you win the national championship, if you're a senior and you're in the playoffs, you're losing your last game. And so to, to, to win your last football game, that to be the last feeling in the locker room, a lot of people don't get to experience that. senior night, which was the first thing, and uh, I think it was extremely important for us to send our seniors off with a win. I mean, I wanted that bad because I had so many good friends on that team. It was just, just joyful, you know what I mean, to end the season with a, with a win. We not hanging our heads, you know, kind of feel like for the motivation for next year, for this year coming up, like, yo, we can, we can do this. I'm proud of you guys, you know what I'm saying? Seniors, we ain't going to the playoffs. But your legacy is going to live forever on that game right there with the momentum that we got. Israel, Billy, Chase, all you boys, Reed, Silby, I go down the line. All right, we're going to have a hell of a banquet. We'll, we'll reminisce on this guy, boys. But right now, you enjoy it. You take care of each other tonight. You got it? I'm going to tell you something. Okay? It would have been easy not to believe, all right? Sometimes it was tough standing up here in the locker room, didn't have the words. You know what I'm saying? But you guys believed and you gave me everything you had. You can be good. You can be proud of that. You got it? Now, yeah. hey, underclassmen, it's our job to take that momentum and roll. That's what I always appreciate about that team is they, they had some unfinished business to do and they played their best football the last month of the season. That's the foundation. If people don't know it, that's, that's the foundation of where this program is going to go. It starts there. People see it or not, you hear it from me, that's where it all began. After all the 350s, after all the days waking up, the lake runs and things like that, we owed it to one another. Those underclassmen will always remember that game, that season, you know, what it looked like, who came to work every single day and practice. I mean, that's, you know, they, they looked up to those guys and I appreciated their effort. SIU is on its way, like, back to being on top. And there's no reason we shouldn't be. 